What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In this week's video, as you've already seen in the title, I am racing a 3000 meters on the track tonight at Cusack against a very class field. I'll pop it up right here. Uh, a few elite triathletes in there. Matthew Hauser went eight flat uh, a few months ago and also beat Adam Fogg uh, early season. So he's a quality athlete and uh, yeah, it's really cool to be in the same heat as uh, him and uh, some of the other elite triathletes in there. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'm about to go for my shakeout run on the treadmill. So I'll do about 15 minutes, like 3K. And yeah, just going to chill for the rest of the day. And I'll show you guys what I eat and uh, what I do beforehand. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. So I just finished my shakeout run on the treadmill. They said, uh, you know, 14 minutes-ish, about 4.45 pace or like 7.45 per mile pace. Uh, so yeah, feeling pretty good. Uh, about to have some breakfast now and yeah. Still got ages to my race, still got like uh, a little bit less than 12 hours to my race. I think it's like 11, 10 hours to my race. So a long time just to be chilling and I'll uh, play an Xbox, so yeah. <laughs> So it's about two o'clock now. I've just been chilling the whole day, about to eat my pancakes and yeah, just been chilling, playing some Xbox and yeah, only for just over six hours until I race. A little bit of a pancake to, for another snack. About four and a half hours to race. So it's a few hours later and as you can see behind me, it's decided to start absolutely bucketing down of rain. But no worries though, uh, hopefully we still get a race in today and if not, I can always just hop on the treadmill and do a workout on it. But yeah, a bit of lightning around as well so uh, at the moment the events at QSAC uh, have been postponed for a little bit. Just waiting for it to pass, if hopefully it does pass, it looks like it will, but it just means the track might be a bit wet and uh, it might add another variable into the race, which could be pretty fun. R racing in the rain, running in the rain is pretty fun. So, you know, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to the Dennis Board Sheet 3000 meter uh, first heat and we are off and running here. A very very quality field here for this 3000 meters, especially for early season. Uh, just to rattle off some names, we've got Matthew Hauser, professional triathlete, represented Australia at the Commonwealth Games. Brandon Copeland, also a professional triathlete. Uh, Matthew Roberts. Peyton Craig, one of the best junior runners in Australia right now. Gus Gannon, uh, a low 4 minute 1500 meter runner. I'm pretty sure he just creeped under sub 4 minutes recently. Daryl Crook, he's got PBs from 352 in the 1500 meters up to a 68 minute half marathon. He's got range and he's got great speed. Uh, we've also got Jack Salado, a very quality, quality runner from Thompson Estate. Jackson Cranich. Recently ran uh, some very, very quick times, including a low 4-minute 1,500 meters. Robert Collins from Distance Culture. We've got uh, Kai Wild, Jack Zielinski, and Harvey Cram, who recently took out the B race in the 1,500 meter classic. But through the first lap very fast there, we went through in roughly 67 seconds for myself. As you can see, I'm in the blue singer with the, the white stripes across it with Harvey, who's very tall behind me. We went through in 67 and we're at the back of the pack. You can kind of see we're already basically uh, in uh, different packs already very early on in the race. Kind of shows you the quality of the field I was in. I was very grateful to be put in this heat uh, with such great runners. Ed 
getting fogged with the fog dog straight to the top with the pace drop pace too hot you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead and all you see is straight university so it's time to subscribe for the best alive go strive for strive with the batman pride it's adding fog we are going through 800 meters here in 217 very very quick that was a 70 second lap so pace has dropped slightly but we're still on for at least an 840 845 given that our uh, first two lap tempo obviously there's still five and a half laps to go a lot can happen in that time as you can see we've kind of got our uh, a little pack going here with jackson kranich uh myself and harvey are uh, working hard uh jackson kranich leading us into the wind it was quite a windy night at qsac as we get up to the 1k split here it's gonna be pretty quick 253 254 through the 1000 meter mark five laps to go and we have a nice little pack here as uh the runner behind jackson kranich has started to fall off the pace here uh, i'm gonna have to get around him if i want to have jackson in sight as i start to go around them on the straight not wanting to run any extra distance We are now coming up to the halfway mark, the 1500 meter mark, uh, as we go through with a mile to go there. Uh, Jackson Kranich has definitely pulled away a little bit. Uh, Harvey and I have definitely slowed a little bit this lap. This will probably be the slowest lap so far. But we still are going to go through 1500 pretty quick as Jackson go through in about 422. He's rolling and we're about 423, 424 on for at least an 850-ish run here. If we can hold this pace until the end as we go through the mile mark here as well. Jackson Kranich looks like he's going through at about 440. And then me and Kravini about 442, 441 high. So that kind of tells you uh, the pace we are uh, running right now. That's about a 920-ish uh, two mile if we ran the extra 218 meters at the end. Let's go, Matty. Adding fog with the fog dog straight to the top with the pace drop pace too hot you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead and all you see is straight university so it's time to subscribe for the best alive go stride for stride with the batman pride it's adding fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive it's adding fog exclusive adding fog fog dog subscribe now for the top dog As we are approaching the 2K mark, there's been some drastic changes. Uh, Robert Collins has caught, made up a massive gap uh, to replace Harvey's position behind me. Harvey has uh, just dropped off the pace this last lap as they're through in about 5.55. That was a pretty slow lap. That was a 73, 74 seconds allowing, allowing Robert Collins to get back on here. We have got less than a K to go now. Uh, it's gonna start heating up here uh, as we can also see Jackson Kranich in uh, Just past me about 20 30 meters in front of me We're gonna have to try and make up that gap if Let's we go, want Come to on, close him down and overtake him Robert Collins is making a big move here. We've got two laps to go 800 meters to go here Does it, it looks like I'm off the back straight away, but I just sit on him we are through the wind now. We have the tailwind behind us now. And I've just got to hold on for another 550 meters here. Uh, and also got to hold on for another 300 before the bell lap. Most people can always find something extra in that bell lap. And hopefully I'm no different in this race. Fuck, fuck dog. Subscribe now for the top dog. Yeah. 
views and views and views how do you choose real news fake news hey dude great shoes on the booze making moves by the cruise but it ain't the rules like i told you okay. my own reality don't give a shit if you're mad at me find an immortality in all of this brutality 550 minutes to go now Robert Collins has still got a lead on me. We can also see Kai... Sorry, Kai Wilder. He has fallen off the pack, that second pack with Jack Solinsky in it. Ah, uh, they have now fallen Push. off, and we now have him in his sights. Robert Collins got the arms out now. He's pumping his knees up high as well. And we're coming up to the bell lap in around 7.40. Let's have a look here. 7.47. So we're going to have to close in a 16 second lap to come home in 8.55. Uh, we are looking pretty good here uh, with a lap to go. I'm starting to make my move around Robert Let's Collins. Ready. I'm hungry this last lap. I want to get as many positions as I can this last lap. Uh, Robert Collins has got a strong you kick as you've seen. He tried to take it early. He's still sitting on me though. I haven't dropped in yet. The work is definitely not done. Jackson Cranish is also fading in the distance as you can't you can't see it on camera. But we've got 200 meters to go now. That was a 72 second lap. We've increased the pace. We're both very tired. This is gonna come down to the last 150. Robert Collins comes back around me. This might be dangerous. This might be it. Can I reply? It's gonna come down to the last hundred meters. I've replied, and this is gonna be a very interesting last hundred. I start to kick. The knees go higher, the arms start pumping, Jackson Kranich is still in the distance, Robert Collins is putting everything he can into it, but it looks like I just get the better of him, coming through in 8.57. Very strong running for many runners, given the conditions as well. Uh, Matthew Hauser won the race in 8.08, .08. Brandon Copeland came second in 8.12. Matthew Roberts came third in 8.30. Peyton Craig came fourth in 8.34 as a 16-year-old. Absolutely crazy. Gus Gannon ran a PB of 8.37. Daryl Cook, 8.40. Jack Salado, 8.46. Jackson Cranich, 8.56. Matthew Hansen, 8.57. Robert Collins, 8.58. Very solid running by everyone involved. What's up guys, thank you for watching this week's video, uh, just a little bit of a race recap, so obviously I went out pretty fast, I went out like 2.53, 254 and uh, ended up running like 8.57, 8.58, so or one second PR, so not the greatest PR, but you know, a PR is a PR, I can't be disappointed with it, uh, I think I was probably expecting a little bit more, but given the circumstances, like this has been my last six weeks on Strava, so I'm definitely getting up there in the miles now, and just been um, not really doing much track work. I hadn't been on the track in a little while, um, just in preparation for nationals in uh, April. So just getting the base work in, getting nice and strong. But um, I'm pretty happy with how I closed the last 600. I really had to dig deep there. Um, and obviously I ended up out kicking him, the guy from Distance Culture, who's a class athlete himself. Um, but apart from that, yeah, I've just been chipping along with training and, uh, you know, I've been working quite a bit as well. So making a bit of money over uh, Christmas holidays before going back to school. I'm a couple of days away now from going back to school, which is exciting and kind of sad. But uh, yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching this week's video. I've got a treadmill workout video coming out soon. And uh, yeah, with that, guys, see you next time.